Joshua is a software developer in Johannesburg. He was hired after he graduated from Rhodes University with a degree in business science. He has also used his degree to develop his own technology to help gym goers keep track of their fitness progress. Puleng graduated from Rhodes University with law and science degrees. She works as an environmental lawyer and hopes to soon be in her dream job working for the United Nations climate change programs. Puleng and Joshua are just two alumni of Rhodes' science faculty who are contributing to South Africa's many science-based industries. In the small city of Makanda in the Eastern Cape is a long and rich tradition of scientific learning and research. With its many schools, the city plays host to the National School's Science Festival, known as SciFest. After matriculating, many learners choose to study for a science degree at Rhodes University's prestigious science faculty. Here our highly qualified lecturers and senior students breathe life into science through their teaching, research and innovative community upliftment projects. The Institutes for Water Research and Environmental Biotechnology are also attached to the faculty, giving students plenty of hands-on research experience. A degree in science from Rhodes University is highly regarded and structured for maximum subject flexibility. The faculty offers two three-year degrees. The first is a Bachelor of Science, or BSc, a general science degree. If you graduate with an upper second in a particular subject, you could study for an honors degree in that subject. The second three-year degree is a Bachelor of Science in Information Systems, there is also an extended studies program to assist students who need extra coaching. The faculty itself has 14 departments with huge scope of choice. There are four main categories. Biological Sciences Earth and Environmental Sciences Chemical Sciences mathematical and physical sciences. My name is Joshua Mavimba. I majored in computer science and information system under the bachelor degree of science at Burns University. Okay, my name is Noan Ndandi, so I'm a second year MSc student in the geology department. My name is Martin and I am a computer science and information system student. And my name is Bileng Chabedi, but I went by Rilobahile in University and I studied a Bachelor's of Science and I did my LLB. My name is Hison Bangla. I finished my undergrad degree at Rhodes University, majoring in biochemistry, microbiology, and psychology. I'm currently doing my honors degree in biotechnology at Rhodes University. So I've always been interested in that sense. Like, how do I, how do I protect the environment without being like chain myself to the trunk of a tree? Um, but how do I, ineffectively speak for the trees? And um, and that's where the law came in. People really do like the idea of me coming from Rhodes, having two degrees that are different and different departments, was always a bit of a woo. Uh, I don't think I could have had the luxury to do that kind of combination anywhere else, like I said. My Rhodes experience was quite adventurous. It was very positive. It has benefited me quite a lot because before I even got to work for the company I do right now, Rhodes University got me plugged in with some investors that helped me out with some of the projects that I was running back when I was at Rhodes University. The connection between my technology and my uh, fitness industry is that a lot of technology that are developed nowadays are aiding athletes in, to be better. If you look at athletes like Usain Bolt, you look at athletes like uh, Justin Gatlin, all of those athletes are, are ones that practice with technology. Technology is the future. Why not have technology and fitness in one industry? A big draw card is the groundbreaking research for the Meerkat Telescope the forerunner to the Square Kilometre Array radio telescope being built in South Africa. The SCAR project aims to collect massive amounts of data from space to help us solve some of the biggest mysteries of the universe. It's especially exciting for Rhodes physicists who are working with top researchers to design the most sophisticated data capturing and processing systems for the telescope's data. Successful students can also apply for SCAR bursaries to continue solving the mysteries of the universe. 
studying for a science degree at Rhodes is a challenging but very rewarding experience. One of the biggest benefits is the smaller teacher to student ratios. This means students have the attention of their teachers, even the most senior ones. There were lecturers that were very friendly, they were very um, they were very keen to work with students into different projects, whatever a student is into. They will, they will leave their doors open 24-7 for you to pop by and to ask them questions about whatever project you want to work into. At large universities, students don't go near a dean. They will see faculty officers and get information from that. Here at Rhodes, especially in the science faculty, the dean has an open door policy. He's prepared to deal with them on an academic basis, on a personal basis. Eventually, you know, straight after leaving the, um, leaving the, the school environment, you've got a job. You, you've got a way forward. You've got a foot in the real working world. And that's what I really, really loved about um, Rhodes University's Computer Science and Information System faculty. Rhodes has the best throughput rate, which means you have the best chance of passing in minimum time. This is not only because of access to teachers, but because students can immerse themselves in their technology. For example, in the chemistry department, every single first year has a practical every single um, week of the academic year, and they have hands-on practical with real lab equipment. Something Rhodes prides itself on is learning and leading through community engagement. Science students get to hone and develop their knowledge by helping Makunda citizens create change through innovation. Various science projects are always on the go, from human kinetics and ergonomics well-being programs, working with school learners in laboratories, to growing water-wise plants. Students research and help communities find solutions to fundamental problems that afflict them. Community engagement at Rhodes University spreads what is termed the community engagement continuum. So this basically means that it ranges from credit-bearing activities such as service learning and engaged research or even community engaged learning to non-credit-bearing activities such as volunteerism. This learning to lead equips students with more than technical skills. It's about being a human who cares about their world and can innovate and inspire others to improve it. Find out more about Rhodes Science Faculty at this address.